Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to get some messages out for Cancer and the Collective. So we're doing a pick a card reading. Okay. Okay, Cancer. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Remember that these are general tarot card messages. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, these are general tarot card messages. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let it fly. Okay. Much love and appreciation. I really love having you guys here. Um, I actually love reading tarot. Tarot has helped me to heal and is still helping me to heal in so many ways. And so I hope, you know, I hope you get you get whatever you're looking for here so let's do some shuffle let's shuffle these cards up how am I going to fast forward this part what kind of music do you guys like I like I like jazz blues I like the saxophone I love the sound of the saxophone oh my god um Because I'm thinking of incorporating music in some way, shape, or form so that you can uh, enjoy the quiet moments. Because targets can get quiet sometimes, you know. <clears throat> and so let us begin. What I'll be doing is placing an element on top of each, each stack of card here. Each stack of card. And then um, you're going to choose one. So the first element I have is air. <clears throat> it's going to go on deck number one. So if you're air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you may choose deck number one or any deck that um, really feels like it's resonating with your energy. Okay, you don't have to. For deck two, we're going to choose heart. It does feel like air. I'm going to take this as something else. I'm going to take this. I'm going to choose water. So that's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have fire energy. So I'm choosing two charms. Two charms for fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so... Remember that you too are a part of this reading with me So you have to be here present and I thank you for being here Now I'm going to ask you to really focus to really breathe and let us get the messages that will bring you most the most clarity in this time Let's get some messages out for you So breathe intend <sighs> So we'll begin with air sign deck number one. Let's see what's coming up for you. How you're feeling, what you're expecting, what you're leaving behind, what you're hopeful or fearful of in this time. And this is for the general, the collective energy, what's going on so that we can get a feel of what's coming up from each other as we go through these times of change. What's going on with you? So I feel strength energy. I feel you need some strength. I feel like this is saying you could use some strength. You could use some will, the will to continue, the will to survive, the will to bear, to put up with. Like you're, you're, you could just need some strength. This is almost like, Lord, give me this strength. I'm asking for some strength. Encouragement. Okay, so I do feel like you could use some encouragement. That's what you're asking for. Like if you feel like you may be at your wit's end, like what can, you don't know what to do now. You're wondering, like you could use some advice, some encouragement. So I'd advise you to listen to some motivational music to really get back in, in alignment with yourself, to know what, who you truly are, where your powers are. 
Because I know when we go through tough times, we lose ourselves and we want to give in. But this is a time to brace against the, the wind, you know, brace against it. Don't let it topple you over. And that's the strength that you're asking for. Because even in mind, you may feel like you don't know where to go. You're confused. You want to give up. You may just want to lay down. But you have to know what your drive is, what your purpose is. You have to remember who you are, why you are here. You have to try meditating and thinking of why you're feeling this way. Is it right for me to feel this way? And what other situation would I prefer to be in? How can I, how can I create that situation around myself, for myself? And this will help you to be more in power. And let's clarify more for you. The High Priestess energy. Wow. Hmm. I do feel vision. It's so powerful for you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I do feel like an, a message coming through swiftly or something just coming through. An intuition, a guidance. The high priestess is that which is connected to the spiritual realm. Very intuitive, spiritual, very mysterious, beautiful energy glows like the moon energy. This, this is Cancerian energy. Our water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could be using your intuition, but I do feel like you'll be tapping into your a deep-seated emotion or wisdom or knowledge within you that gives you the power to get up and move. That's the, that's how I feel. It feels like you're about to like literally stand up and start stand up, and then you're st you're walking. It's as if you're being controlled by a power that is beyond you. You're being controlled by a power that is beyond you. And sometimes I feel like that's how you feel. You feel um, out of control, like you don't have control over your own life. And you, need, you feel like you need to feel like you are the one that's leading your life. And that is how you do it, as I, um, as I explained earlier to you. Look, you're working. So there's work to be done on yourself. Or you're currently doing the work. And this is internal work. When you, when you get ready up for the mission, actually, when you know what your purpose and your mission is, when you find that, I feel like then you go off and you start putting in the work. That's, like you start eating better, you start exercising, you start preparing mentally and physically for this journey ahead of you. This is you strengthening up for the journey that's ahead. All right, so if you need power, it is here. You need to put in the work. Work your muscles, work your brain eat well train how to like i feel even fasting going going off alone some to spend time on yourself to to learn how to be alone this is how you build your strength and this is not just brawn this strength is spiritual strength this is backbone strength that, that you're building here all right building up your sense of intuition knowing what you came here to do and and being able to step in power in purpose or step powerfully in your purpose here so keep doing what you're doing. That's the energy for you. Let's carry on. Some of you are working on a, on money. You like you want money to come through for you, and it will. It may be taking its time, but I do feel you will be financially um, self-sufficient, financially confident, financially strong, grounded, stable. In the end, you're coming through so powerfully. There's a okay, all right. So, we're going to deck number two, which has water energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So, use these messages as your predictions for the month of August coming in. All right, so let's see what's coming up for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water energy for the month of August. Let's see. Welcome in, water energy. Some of you are waiting. Just standing by, looking, hoping. You do want to make a move. Yes, you do. So you could be waiting for someone else's approval or the, the, um, the go-ahead from someone else. But I do feel a, an urge or an eagerness to step forward. You do want to take the step forward, but you're waiting. It's as if you're, you're impatient about taking the step. It's as if, if this person takes another minute to reach out or to respond or to, to make up their mind, whatever it is. 
I'm going to put my foot forward and I'm going to get this moving. This is the energy I'm getting from the Three of Wands Energy Cancer in here for you. This could be something that have to do with a business that you're working on, a, some, some job or something that you're creating that is creative, something through your creativity. It's like I feel like you're looking over your life and you're wondering what it is that you want to experience next. So it's about creating. There's some move that you want to make to align with a vision that you have for yourself for the future. But you, I feel like you're about to literally take that step. You're not going to wait on anyone else to say, it's okay, go, because maybe these people are the situation. It's take, is taking its time to come through for you. So I feel like you're about to take that step forward. Let's see what happens. And this is in August. Because you're waiting and this, it's like, Ooh, the six. I like, there's an energy that came with the six of pentacles. It's, ah, uh, hmm. Okay, so wanting to take that step and waiting. It feels like putting yourself out there. As if um, you have gifts to share with others. And it could be fear that was holding you back and you're waiting to see if some things would be resolved first before you start sharing your gifts. Because I do feel giving. And you're giving your best, you're giving your true gifts. You're giving things that you're not able to really run out of. It's like you have plenty to give. That's the energy I'm feeling. And that's why you're feeling so impatient because you feel like you have plenty to give to this earth. And it's very valuable things. When you do this, it feels like you're in purpose because you're giving back. It's creating balance within your life, within your sense of value, your sense of identity. So you're ready to give of yourself because I feel like you have made some discovery of who you are. You feel more purposeful, more strong, okay, more clear. So you're not being held back anymore. You're, you're ready to put yourself out there to start giving. And I feel like you'll be issuing things out. I don't know what you're doing, all right? But you're, you're putting yourself out there giving. And this could have to do with work. Um, you could be making money through this venture as well because we do have the pentacles energy here. And I feel like people really need you. And you know this, Cancer or Pisces, Scorpio water energy you know that there's something in you there's something compelling you to go forward to give of yourself and let's see what else comes up for you it's just like it creates a sense of balance within you it makes you feel good it's it makes you feel like you sleep better at night because during the day you're up giving or you're being off service so at night you sleep better it's like that kind of a balanced energy that if you want to feel worthy then you feel like you have to give if you want to feel wealthy and rich and abundant then you feel like you have to give okay so it's that balanced energy you feel it within and you you express it without and so it may be it may be reaping in um um attracting rewards to you financially with the nine so you two are about to have your financial abundance here it may be taking its time and it may have taken its time because you hesitated to move forward for whatever reason that was but it's surely coming through for you hey and this is your dream come true okay this is the ten of cups energy this is my dream come true energy card here I feel like you'll be giving praises, you'll be giving thanks. It's as if an, a, a stream of abundance literally just flew in, or uh, flew, flowed, flowed into, flew, flew, flowed into your life path. And you're, it feels like you're saying, hallelujah. You're giving thanks. Your dream has come true. There's, it's like you're, you're, you're victorious. You have won. You have manifested. I, it's something amazing though. But you're throwing up your hands and you feel good. You're giving thanks. And it's like you're giving praises in a way that's coming through your emotions. You know, it's not surface. You feel this energy coursing through you. So I do feel like maybe it's something that you have visualized or you're working on manifesting. But you're seeing something fulfilled. I feel like it's literally like you walk upon something and you see it. It's there. It's yours. I feel the energy of a car. Like some of you could be buying a house, building a house. Some of you could be winning something or creating a business. Um, some of you could be buying a car because it's like you walk up on this thing and you see it. It's there. It's manifested and you throw your hands up in the air and you're saying praise. You're saying hallelujah. That's how I'm feeling. And even with the nine of the nine of pentacles feel like praises, praises, giving praises, giving thanks. 
for something you'll be receiving in the month of August. Oh, all right, we're not going to put them back down. All right, so that's water energy. Now we're moving on to earth energy. So gather yourselves, breathe earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And let's see what comes up for you. What should you expect in the month of August coming up with your energy? And let's get some messages for you out here. Thank you, angels, words, and guys for coming through. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like some of you may be relenting or giving up. And some of you are not. Because I don't normally read reversals. Okay, I'm taking it upright while considering it in the reversal. So the Queen of Swords is one that is really focused. So we're going to see in a minute what it is that you're focusing on. So you're focusing on manifesting something, on calling something into being for you. I feel like you're building something huge. You could be the contractor of a huge, a major project. And you're sitting up there high, calling the shots. But it's, it, it may seem like you're doing nothing by sitting down, but you are the overseer. And you have to be focused. That's the energy. You could have graduated to a position of management or supervisor or something in a job, perhaps. Something that you're good at. This could be security, watching over other people's, or watching over property, perhaps. Watching over animals. Because this feels like shepherd energy as well with the, the queen of swords. It feels like shepherd energy, being able to nurture other life forms, watching over, watching over, but still having to be disciplined. All right. And then we have the king of pentacles. Okay. So, of course, I do expect to see pentacles energy whenever I'm dealing with Taurus. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but Taurus is here strong. It feels like there's a person, a business behind you that is backing you. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of a real estate company that has hired a contractor. So you could be the real estate company that is backing this contractor. It's like you have the money and you are the one that's hiring someone else to call the shots. That could be the energy. You could be a... Maybe I'll have to clarify. Whoa. Oh my God, I'm just telling you. Whenever I'm reading for Taras, the pentacles have to come up. It's so amazing. Let's get some clarifications. So money definitely coming in for you. Probably some of you are already financially stable and abundant. There's something else like you're, feel, you're working on a major project. It's like somebody that's mining, mine, mining, mining gold or mining um, ore or box, mining, mining, mining ore, minerals from the land. It's like you're mining something that's so wealthy. You're working on something abundant and you have to be focused. And I feel like I'm reading for someone that's, that's wealthy. Wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, eight, like, look, I'm telling you, someone is working on something. I, oh, did you see that? Okay. Working on, like, you could be building a, a new housing scheme, perhaps. You're so focused. I don't feel like you're even spending a lot of time with your family right now. You're really just heads, just focused on your business. So focused. Putting in the work. And it's huge. I feel it's going to definitely pay off for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So you could be receiving some financial rewards in the end. Well, definitely I see that for you. I'm receiving some financial rewards here for some business that you're doing plentifully i hear okay so i'll leave that message there for you for the month of august and that was oops that was mm, that was earth energy and now we're moving on to fire energy which is the last deck here so really focus with me fire let's get the messages out bring up back the passion and the desires let's get going let's see what's coming up for you thank you so much for being here welcome in and let's get some messages for what's coming up for fire sign aries leo sagittarius within the month of august we have money pentacles energy wanting to manage money 
a lot a lot of money okay 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 i feel like someone has received a lot of money but there's something that is still imbalanced maybe it is the ability to manage it, this money that is causing this person to feel a bit off balance like someone has a lot of money wondering what should i do with this now where should i put it where am i going to put it i have it's like sitting here and that is causing them to be thrown off a bit emotionally with the two of pentacles here and then we have okay we have the hermit energy so someone may be okay you could be looking for investment options hmm someone may want to come and assist you someone from the past possibly a father figure maybe left you a lot of money or and you're wondering what should I do with all of this money? Maybe someone de someone departed, or someone coming back. But if it's like something valuable that someone gave you to hold on to while they leave or chase after their dream, but it it is making you a bit uh, in like you're not emotionally balanced right now because of this money situation. Like somebody just left something valuable in your care because they had to go off, go somewhere. So let's see. We have the Queen of Wands. So maybe someone is coming into you. Maybe someone is leaving another person to come into you. This person is probably traveling in the, at night to come see you too. They're seeking you out. Maybe seeking out your counsel. I feel like you do have feelings for this person when they arrive. You maybe you were once with this person because we do have the six of cup energy. So it could be someone from your past that you're going toward, or someone from your past is coming back to you. And I feel like you could have empathy toward this person's situation. So you may hear them out. It could be that this person is having financial difficulty coming into you because we do have the five of pentacles. So for some people, people so for some of you, there's financial difficulty here and someone coming into you. This could be a father, a friend, a brother, an ex. Is I don't feel like you'll be ready and willing to go help this person. But I do feel like you'll hear them out and over time I feel you will melt or your heart will soften and you will accommodate them. This could be a love all right, we're leaving your messages here. Thank you so much for coming through. And I do hope you found messages that are able to help you along your journey. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. All of your love, your support, all of your likes, shares, and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'll see you in the next video. So if you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Much love and gratitude always. Remember that you're all and all is within you. So dream big. You are all. Much love. Bye. Thank you.